Hello again. So a little bit of a progress report, what I'm working on right now. These are uh, the totes that I found this weekend and um, an ice pack from the other weekend. And I am finally getting around to washing up all those nasty lunch boxes and everything else that was in, in with them. There were gloves and shoes. All of that is now down in the laundry room, um, getting started and I am working on the lunch boxes now. I will put them in the yard sale that I will be having later this summer. And those that do not sell, we will go ahead and donate because they're all in good usable condition. They just need to be cleaned up. So working on that. I've also gotten a whole bunch of things put away where they belong. Um, one thing, I think I'm far enough away that you really can't see the people, so I feel good about that. But anyway, our family picture is finally in um, the frame that I found in the bins. Just had to clean up the frame and get the picture put in, and there it is. So, job done. The other thing that I am working on right now is... Um, well, number one, I've got my newspapers and need to, they're my ads, and need to figure out what groceries I'm getting this week, <laughs> but that's kind of beside the point. I've got these items here. You'll recognize the creatine and, you know, supplemental powders from um, the other weekend. There were other bottles also that were unopened and unexpired um, that my husband decided he would go ahead and try. He is a long distance cyclist and mountain biker and buys lots of those kinds of things, not like mass builders or whatever, but these other, um, no, I don't even know what they're called, like energy boosting powder shake things. And so he's gonna try those out, which is awesome because that saves us some money from what he would have gone ahead and bought on its own. And then I am working on testing a few things. Um, this laminated paper, I had decided I could um, use the back side, which is empty as um, a drawing space for writing our lists and whatnot. So I'm going to test it with some of our dry erase markers and see if it'll work for that purpose. If it doesn't, then it will go in the recycling. I also need to test out this football, fill it with some air and see if it holds. And then all of the rest of these, including the powders and those uh, math books and everything in here, I need to look up on my eBay app and see what kind of value, resale value, that they have. I'm also going to be scanning several other eBay items, but um, I figure I'm just gonna, I need to not overwhelm myself, which is something I do quite regularly. I need to just start with this, get these all scanned, get, you know, an idea of what is worth selling and what should just be donated and what should just be recycled. And then I will, I will continue on, um, once I finish these, going on to the next ones. I have quite a bit of stuff that needs to get researched, scanned, and listed on eBay. I'm way behind on that. I need to get my eBay shed finished, and we will start working on that this evening. So please come back and join me um, for that process. It's, it's gonna be fun. Um, let's see, let me think of what else I have going on that I'm working on. All right, so we've got marker, dry erase marker, eraser, other marker, and our Expo spray. All of these supplies, of course, are out of other bins. All right, so the idea is to see if this laminated blank side can be used for drawing. Otherwise, it's going in the recycling. Well, hot diggity, I didn't need the spray, but just to make it a little cleaner, we will spray, and there you go. Easy enough. It works. So I will keep at least one of these, maybe two, I don't know, for the kids to play with because they get jealous of our other dry erase boards, like our um, chore chart, prize chart, whatever it's called. Um, and I have another dry erase board that I use to keep track of my life, and I don't let them use that. So now, ha ha ha, we have some options for them to use. And in fact, I think we'll keep three of them. That way they each have one of their own. So cool. All right, let's see what else. All right, so over here we have the items that I've been checking out and testing and whatnot. So these 
Skull Candy brand headphones work great, just needed to be um, sanitized. No biggie, now they're mine, woohoo. The um, one best copy of this book, the rest were all really in pretty bad shape. So I put those in the recycling and I'm keeping this one for myself to read. All of these I have checked on eBay and the pins, obviously, since it's, I mean, it's specific for one school, there weren't any others exactly like this. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to sell them this whole lot on eBay as a potential craft item. We'll see what happens. This is just a test. Worst case scenario, I end up recycling the metal. All right. I, I hope not, but you know, we'll see what happens. The math books are actually incredibly valuable, especially where they haven't been written in. And the rest of these like the laser discs and then these guidebooks to go along with different reading books um, called Liddy, a book called Liddy. Those are kind of a mm, hit and miss kind of a thing. They're, they're not like huge sellers, but they're things that, you know, I'm going to give them a try. I'm going to see, put them on for, you know, um, one of those cancel when it, when it um, sells kind of listings that just go on and on and on. And and we'll give them maybe six months. And then if they haven't sold by then, which will be well in time for the new school year and all of that, if they haven't sold by then, then um, we will either donate or recycle. The Day of the Pelican books, um, they have a very decent resale value. So I'm going to do like I said, and put all of those into a lot and sell them as like, um, you know, advertise them for, for teachers. The creatine, Sells for about $14 plus shipping, so that's awesome. Excited for that. This one here, this C4 Explosive Energy, is actually sells for about $30 plus shipping, so that's crazy. And it's unopened. My problem, and if any of you can help me with this, I sure would be grateful. Oh, wait, no, no, it wasn't this one. This one, I could find the expiration. This doesn't expire until January of 2018, so no problems there. And it's brand new, it's still sealed. So that's going to be a really good, um, nice little profit. This was the one. Um, I am just not able to find an expiration date on this one. I have just absolutely looked everywhere. There's printing here. But I... Oh, I just can't even tell. Wait, nope, you know what? I think I figured it out. There are some numbers here that I'm, I'm guessing are the expiration. Maybe, oh, I don't know. I'm hoping that it's 08 of 18. But if any of you can answer for sure on that one, how to tell when this particular product expires, you know, there's a whole series of numbers in light, light yellow on the bottom, but I'm just not 100% sure which ones are the expiration date and I just cannot list it and get it sold um, until I know for sure. So if you know anything about that, please share in the comments below. All right, um, moving along. So solved another little mystery that I could not remember from school. This is a protractor. Some of you are probably like, duh. But then again, none of you commented on the video where I first showed this. So maybe you had forgotten too. I'm just gonna say you did because that will make me feel better. Um, there's the little Utah Centennial or no, Utah State Capitol pin and the little notepad thing and the encyclopedia of school letters and then a few more binders and the protractor, those will all go in my yard sale. So yeah, this stuff is all going in recycling and I am happy to report that these pens do not work anymore. They are completely dried out and used up. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about that because they're not wasted. And that makes me so happy because, you know, all of my um, Expo markers, my Sharpies, all of those come from the bins the majority of the time. and that just breaks my heart. I mean, it's great for us. It saves us money, but what a waste, right? What a waste. So these were used and that's, that's wonderful. I am going to look into if this kind of plastic is recyclable. If you happen to know off the top of your head, please leave that in the comments below. I'd love to know, um, and not have to look it up myself. That would save me some time. All right. I think that is it as far as updating. Um, nope, nope, there's more. So hang on, let me figure out the rest and I'll be right back.